What is up dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Fish and More Outdoors. As you guys can see, I uh, may have messed up a little bit last night. I, uh, I knew it was going to rain, I knew it was going to storm, be windy, and I, uh, I, uh, neglected, I neglected my boat last night. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I neglected my boat last night. I knew it was going to rain, I knew it was going to storm, and I... I kind of spaced to go put my boat away and I left it outside and, and now it is absolutely soaking wet and just covered with, with little leaves and little bugs and stuff from the trees. So I messed up and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use this thing today. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna leave this in the sun all day. I'm going to hope that the wind blows some of this stuff out but it's probably not going to. So I'm gonna leave all of my all my compartments open just so that all my crankbaits and all just all my baits don't get all rusty. And uh, I'm sure I will be uh, cleaning this thing out. And I just I just vacuumed this thing literally two days ago, so I'm not very happy about this. But I have to fish because, as you guys know, I love fishing every day, and I'm still gonna fish even if my boat gets all trashed. So I'm gonna unhook the boat get in my Jeep and uh, go do a little bit of shore fishing today. Let's uh, unhook the boat and get going. What's up dudes? Welcome back. We are at spot number one and let me tell you, this spot really brings back some memories. I used to fish here when I was just a little kid. I know you're thinking, oh, you're just a little kid. And I tell you what, it is bringing back some memories. I haven't been here in a long time. So let's uh, so let's uh, strap on the old GoPro and uh, get it. I think I'm gonna start with like a swim jig or something like that and hopefully catch some bass. Let's get it. All right, dudes, this spot here, I'm thinking I'm just gonna need one rod right here. The old, uh, the old, the old six stick with the cast king. Then I got just a little swim bait on there. Hopefully I can catch something here. Usually when I try to come fish this, it's usually way too late in the year. And it is super choked. And by super choked, I mean just super weedy, like not even castable. So, I don't know. I remember back in the day, there used to be fish sitting right in front of this little culvert thing. So I'm going to stand back here and just pitch a cast in there first off. See if there's something sitting there. Not even fooling. Got one. First, first fish of the day. That only took two casts. Ugh. Oh my god, it's a freaking lunker. <laughs> freaking lunker. Second cast. No way, dude. That's a freaking three pounder. Oh my god. That is sick. That is freaking sick. All right, dudes, well, that did not take long. What an awesome start to the day. I'm gonna pitch him right back. Freaking yes. That is sick. First freaking fish of the day and it only took two casts. No way. All right, let's send it back out there. Swim it in. See what happens. This is not very, uh, not very deep. It's like a foot deep in here. Can't even tell me there's no more fish in here. Like there's just a lunker sitting right at the pipe, but there's no more. What the heck? What the heck, G? Let's see if there's anything on this side. The side looks deeper. Same thing, just gonna slow reel it. All right, dudes, well, stop number one was, I wouldn't say a bust. We got one like really nice bass. I was not expecting that. Second cast right in front of that little tube. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't a complete bust, but it wasn't 
a juicy spot or nothing. So we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go to a next spot. I think the next spot's gonna be a dam. But it's not gonna be the dam that you guys are used to seeing on this channel. It's gonna be a different dam, a new dam. So uh, stay tuned, let's roll to the new dam. Hopefully catch some smallmouth. All right, dudes, spot number two, local dam. Let's get it. Oh, I should lock my doors. This spot, I'm gonna be using just a little paddle tail and a little spinning rod. Hopefully they're doing it. Please don't fall, Murray. Come on, Marta. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, look at this. Freaking platform. All right, I'm gonna take off the backpack. Definitely gonna take the phone out of my pocket too, in case I fall in. Okay, please don't let me fall in today. Dear, dear baby Jesus. Little baby Jesus. This is nice. All right, first off, I'm gonna cast right next to this wall. Instant, instant, no. First cast, <laughs> first cast, that was a good one too. Holy crap, hopefully you guys seen that. See if I can do that again. Oh my God, dudes, that was a hog. They're stacked up. They're stacked. They're stacked. Got one. Got one. Got one. Good one too. Oh yeah, heck of a good fish. This is a big one. This is a big one. I need my net. I'm gonna go get my net. If they're this stacked, I do not want to hurt these fish. So I'm going to go get my net because the current here is crazy right now. Dude, this is like a freaking solid fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Put my rod right in the water. Don't break. Don't break. Oh, my God. Look at that fish. Just munch that. Okay, dudes. I'm going to let this guy go. Really quick, there's a nice, oh, that is a nice frick. Three pound smallie. I'm gonna go get my net quick. <sighs> All right, dudes, I got my net. I am about to grab my power pack really quick because this camera's about dead. Obviously, story of my life, my camera's always dead. And hopefully, we can catch a bunch more. I am going to set my net right here, right there. Hopefully we can catch a bunch more of these smallies. They're just sitting right next to this wall right here. Oh, big in, big in. Got one, biggin, biggin, holy crap, giant. Oh, oh. oh my god, dudes, that was a freaking giant. No way. No. God dang it. I got stuck on the wall. Got stuck on the wall. Alright, dudes, instead of using those paddle tails. I have the juice right here for smallmouth. This is just a little tube jig, a little two and a half inch tube jig. And I'm just gonna thread this sucker on. It's gonna thread her on just like this. And I'm going to cream a smallmouth with this. popped it out of the snag and I got one. That was cool. Whoa. God, these things fight. Like, holy crap. Especially in all this current. 
Yeah, it's another nice one. Another nice one. Another nice one. Come on, bud. Got him. Yeah, buddy. All right, dudes. A little smaller than that last one, but still a freaking quality smallmouth. Let's get him right back. All right, dudes. Let's try to do that again. a musky. Not good. No way. Little baby musky. These guys are not in season. And I'm not really sure if I can even take this guy out of the water. It's just a baby. Just a baby. I want to be really careful with this guy though. Oh man. Really careful with this guy. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. No. Come here. I almost got him. Okay, I got him. I'm gonna flick my bail, put this right here, and unhook him really quick. Come here, buddy. Okay, you know what? He, he got himself unhooked. He's unhooked. I'm not even going to touch him. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to let him rate. I'm just going to let him go. There you go, buddy. That was strange. Well, there's my first muskie of the year. And my reel is just soaked. But, I don't know, I don't really want to mess with muskies too much right now those guys are out of season but I am fishing a dam so they're definitely loaded here and apparently they're hungry wow he bent up my freaking jig holy crap I need new plastic it's crazy how, how crazy the fish stack up right here got one Instant first cast with the Kai Tech. First cast with the Kai Tech. It's just a little guy. I don't even need the net for him, I don't think. I'm just gonna grab him. Yeah. Just a little guy. Holy crap, though. That was instant. Decent little smallie. Just let him go, let him grow. Sweet. Let's try to do that again. They're just literally stacked up right here. I can't see them. You can't see any, but it's kind of deep. So you just kind of hold your... Got one. Got another one. Just kind of hold your jig there and they freaking whack it. This is awesome. Just another little guy though. Jesus. Okay, maybe I do need a net or something. I at least need to put my rod down. Ow. Ow. Okay, got him. Oh man, he took my Kytec. Okay, I definitely do need to start using a net because I have so many little cuts in my fingers. The line is like going into my cuts and it hurts. Jesus. That is in there. Wow. All right, another little guy. In case you guys are curious what I'm using, right there. Got one. Got one. Feels bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Just another little butterball, though. They're definitely not that crazy. 
grab my net. Got him. Still, nothing crazy, but hey, this is fun. Oh, hook popped right out. Heck yeah, man, they are dark here. Holy crap. Alright. That was sick. That one pounded it in the deep. All right, dudes. I had to. Uh, I had to get out of there. I made an executive decision. Uh, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I'm about to crap my pants. So I'm gonna end this video here. I need to find a public bathroom right away. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could go down here, like this video, go share this video, go subscribe to my channel, all that, that little bell thing I keep talking about, hit that too. All right, I need to go. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm about to poop my pants. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Heck yeah, buddy. Thanks for your riding me. Er, thanks for the ride. <laughs> thanks for riding me, buddy.